we weren't even a state sailing on purpose, but we saw a sign and turned down a side road and at a sale that was all antique cars and antique oil lamps, we found this. I'm Michelle. This is my romantic tangle. I bought a hand crank. Last year, we went to an estate sale that had thousands of antique radios. This estate sale was on that same street, about four or five houses down. And this sale was another one of those houses of a collector. This time it was antique oil lamps and antique cars. I do not know what these cars were. Think the era of the Model T, but something else. And then one of them was this Cadillac that looks like something Cruella de Vil would have driven when she was chasing the Dalmatians. I was going to take pictures, but I walked past the oil lamps and I was figuring out the best angle to get pictures at. And then I saw the hand crank. And every thought but the hand crank immediately flitted out of my head. I grabbed one of my sons, told him, you are putting your hand on this and you are not taking your hand off of this. I'm calling your grandma. Because mom had told me to keep my eyes open for a hand crank. This one had its original case. It had the bobbin shuttle thingamabob. None of my machines have a shuttle, so I don't understand quite the terminology. It had it, all of its feet. The case was gorgeous. And I got on the phone with my mom. And I can't remember if she answered the first time or not. I sent her pictures. She was kind of wishy-washy about whether she wanted it or not. And at that point, I'm thinking if she does not buy this for herself, I am buying this for me. I turned the crank and held the phone up to the mach machine so she could hear how smoothly this thing ran. It absolutely purrs. She told me to give her a minute. I know I told one of the boys to stand watch over this machine, but I did not step away from this machine until she called me back. And then it went straight over to the sales table with our name on it because this was going home with me. I haven't seen a hand crank in the wild outside of maybe an antique store. I have never seen a hand crank that I thought was as gorgeous as this one. For 110 maybe years old, wow, that case is in good shape. There is a decal on the center of the part where you run the fabric over that has been rubbed away so entirely. I didn't realize that there was supposed to be a decal there at all because, guys, we were in a barn. Now, this barn had been set up for the estate sale this machine wasn't sitting in the barn for years and years, but the lighting in barns is not great. I got it. I brought it home. My husband started fiddling with it and asking why I didn't buy it for myself. I mean, he was kind of strongly encouraging me not to, but it is okay because I have visitation rights. And if mom ever gets tired of it, I am so totally buying this thing from her. I love this machine. Our research is showing that this is a Singer Model 28, and we've seen dates ranging from 1902 to 1910. It's old. It has the original bobbin. It has this little drawer with a bunch of feet in it. Yeah, that's a modern Ziploc bag. Somebody else put them in. And the case I cannot get over. The feet from the old Singers are interchangeable, so Great Grandma's treadle and the featherweights, and presumably this can all share. As much as I love the machine, I love the story it comes with because I will remember that we bought it on the afternoon that we went to the old timey festival in Brownsville and that it was down the street from that sale with all the radios that we will be talking about that sale with all the radios probably for the rest of our lives because that was such a fun sale and this one was kind of a fun sale it was one of those where 
obviously the wife had passed away first. There was nothing feminine left in that house except for the sewing machine. Which makes me wonder, did the car collector's mother own it? The timing might be... The timing might make more sense if it had been his mother's. Or, I mean, it could have been his wife's and he could have wanted to hang on to it. There's... I'm making up stories at this point. I am totally speculating. What's your criteria for bringing home new sewing machines? Is it enough that it's pretty or that the price is right or that it's different from everything else you have at home? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. I'm Michelle. This is my romantic tangle.